We're going to hear from Angela Hillier, another forensic scientist. Now, <clears throat> with the help of a lab called Parabon Nat Nano Labs, a genetic genealogy screening technique um, was used to help identify a, a possible source of that DNA from individual A. Now, when Parabon is able to create that profile, they then upload it to a public database. This database contains, as you can imagine, a large number of people's DNA, not only from the United States, but across the world. They'll tell you how it was a, a mixed source of DNA, individual A, Mr. Talbot, and Mr. and Mrs. Talbot had three daughters and one son. That one son was William Talbot II. He was 24 years old at the time that Jay and Tanya were murdered. He lived approximately seven miles from where Jay's body was found. Detectives took a DNA swab from his cheek. In a controlled environment, they immediately put it into a, a vial and an evidence bag, and that swab was tested as well. Once again, matched individual A. The genetic genealogy that you heard briefly about here, um, the, the prosecutor said it's a good tool for catching perpetrators. Uh, which is inaccurate. It's, it's a good tool for giving prosecutors an insight into who left particular biological evidence. Um, on Tanya's pants, was it